Though we can't show actual images of the CHAMP or Counter Electronics High Powered Microwave Advanced Missile Project, this animation shows a simulated weapon flying over selected targets, hitting them with high power radio wave bursts and defeating their electrical and data systems without causing injury or collateral damage. But it was no simulation Tuesday over the Utah Test and Training Range, where Boeing and the U.S. Air Force Research Laboratory's Directed Energy Directorate successfully flew the first fully operational CHAMP weapon. We hit every target we wanted to. We prosecuted everyone. Today we made science fiction science fact. This video, recorded during an earlier test, shows what CHAMP is capable of. Watch the computer screens in this office as the Directed Energy hits the building. While the computers were knocked out, there is no structural damage. Fade to black. When that computer went out, uh, when we fired, it actually took out the cameras as well. We took out everything on that. It was fantastic. Excellent team. Uh, I mean, like I said, the reason we are successful is due to the team and, and, and the team effort. A non-lethal weapon that can defeat targets without collateral damage is an idea that's been portrayed in television and film for decades. But this, says AFRL champ lead test engineer Peter Finlay, is no movie. We're not quite up to the place where the Star Trek and Star Wars movies are, but this is definitely an advancement in technology to be able to give us an opportunity to do things that we couldn't do before. James Dodd, vice president of Advanced Boeing Military Aircraft, says his team is focused on developing the innovation to protect U.S. troops. We know this has some capabilities and some impact. And so uh, we're really trying to engage the customer and see if there's a way that we could actually get this fielded and implemented sooner than later. After its first flight, the CHAMP missile flew to an undisclosed location on the test range and the flight was intentionally terminated. Boeing and AFRL teams are now analyzing the data and telemetry from this flight, which not only made history, but stands to change it as well.